just about a week out before the big fight, 21st of March at the Horden Pavilion, and uh, Brock's been training and we've been in camp for around 10 weeks now. Our first uh, part of the camp, we went to Bangkok, Thailand, where we always go um, to get ready, and uh, had some great sparring there, some great hard work there. And the great thing was nobody got sick there. We all came home nice and healthy. And now, um, from Bangkok, we came back to Sydney, we trained, we had some great sparring um, in both places. And then we jumped on a plane and we headed to Los Angeles, and then to Las Vegas. While we were in Los Angeles, um, we were blessed to visit um, one of my great friends and training partners, Justin Fortune's gym that's just been moved to Milrose, uh, right in the heart of uh, Beverly Hills there. So um, to Justin, thank you for letting me use your gym, and to Bones Adams in Las Vegas, I can't thank um, my friend and buddy and ex-world champion the same weight division as me enough. Bones, you've really uh, put the icing on the cake for us, um, and Brock. So yeah, anyway, but during this camp, we've made sure that I've, um, you know, tapered it all out, made sure I made him, not peak, but um, got him to a certain level and gave him a little bit of a rest and it's been up and down now. So um, this last week, it's all about making weight and losing weight. And now, uh, as you see now, we've been in the sauna, we've been running with plastics on, we've been running indoor instead of outdoor, all about consistently making weight. And um, that's what the last week's about. So I'm uh, really, really um, confident and I'm really, really happy with the preparation. Yeah, the IBF Youth World title, Featherweight World title, means a lot to me. Um, you know, I really appreciate the opportunity from the IBF and um, it's another stepping stone for us to, to work up the rankings to get to where we want to be. Uh, it's been a great training camp, I haven't had any, any injuries, which is uh, it's different for a change. And, um, you know, in America I met Mike, which is pretty awesome, Mike Tyson. I met uh, Fernando Vargas, uh, Devin Haney, so it was a great trip. Yeah, it was, it was unbelievable meeting Mike. Um, you know, every every fight I would love to meet Mike Tyson. You know, he's he's one of the biggest names in boxing ever. So uh, yeah, it was unbelievable. Um, he didn't really talk too much about boxing to me. You know, he just kind of gave me some life advice, telling telling me that most people are, are spoiled and we all believe that we need to work hard and that we deserve something. You know, at the end of it all. But you know, he was just telling me to just be happy and you know just enjoy life, so it was pretty cool, it was, it was an amazing experience. Uh, this period of time at, where everything has to be done perfect, you know, I'm cutting weight, making sure that uh, we're losing some, some weight every day, um, it is hard work, so uh, you can't take any shortcuts because, uh, I mean, the job has to be done, so um, yeah, it's a, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of discipline, you gotta, you, you gotta do this part perfect. Every day I still run hard, uh, I still get up early, I still run hard. I just, uh, I, I stack some more clothes on just to sweat more, lose my weight. Uh, I'm in the sauna after every run, uh, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Um, then I gotta really be careful with what I, what I eat. I, I keep it very strict. Um, might have a small breakfast. Then later on we'll head to the boxing gym and uh, again, uh, we keep it pretty much the same. Nothing really changes, but I just, I'll stack on more clothes and uh, back in the sauna afterwards and just, everything's just gotta be done, done, done consistently. You know, I, I, I believe that I, I'm always confident because of my training, I, I put everything into my training, so uh, that's why I feel, you know, confident when I get in the ring. Um, you know, I, I leave uh, no stones unturned, you know, so uh, I make sure that I, I don't take any shortcuts. It's great having Jeff you know, in my corner, you know, he's been there and done it, so uh, who better than Jeff Fennick, you know, um, he, he, he's steering me in the right direction, it's up to me just to, to you know, follow in his footsteps and give him my all every day and, and make sure that I do my best. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to all my sponsors, you know, um, I can't thank you guys enough, you, you supported me from the start, so yeah, it means so much to me and Jeff, so, uh, you know, just, just thank you.